Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you how to fix the system cannot write to the specified device error in Windows 10. Usually, this type of error is caused by corrupted system files or DLLs, and it can be solved by running a full system scan or checking registry files and even updating the Windows OS. So stay tuned as I will show you how to fix this error in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution could be running a full system scan. Just click start in the lower left corner and type Windows Security. Then click Windows Security from the search results. Then go to scan options on the right pane, select full, and then click Scan Now. You have to note that the full scan may take a long time to complete depending on the number of files and folders on your computer. Another great solution could be repairing your registry. Press the Start button in the lower left corner and type in CMD. Then right click on Command Prompt and run as administrator. Then enter SFC slash Scan Now and press Enter to run the System File Checker scan which might take about half an hour or longer. Lastly, restart the desktop or laptop if the SFC scan does repair system files. You can also try updating your operating system. You can do that by clicking the Start button in the lower left corner and then writing Settings. Then click the Settings option. Now navigate to Update and Security section. There you have to click Check for Updates button. Windows will now check for available updates. If any updates are available, they will be downloaded automatically in the background. Once you downloaded the updates, they will be installed as soon as you restart your PC. And another great solution is running the Windows Troubleshooter. Go to Settings, then choose Update and Security. Then select Troubleshoot in the left pane. Afterwards, in the new window, go to the section Find and Fix Other Problems. Then, in the Troubleshoot window, just select the Hardware and Devices Troubleshooter, then click Run the Troubleshooter. Trying to use the Troubleshooter is always helpful because it can find all the errors or corrupted files that you have to deal with. So, make sure to always troubleshoot any problems that you have with your OS. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.